Good evening, viewer. Welcome to our Glory Globe TV. Here's the breaking news. Yes, the Congress party on Friday renewed its demand for a joint parliamentarian committee that is called JPC probe into the other group after an expert panel appointed by Supreme Court in its interim report found no signs of any regulatory failure around the cock. Low mayor hurts strokes realized in recent years as well as the root since January when it faced a short seller attack. In its report submitted to the Supreme Court, the six member panel said that the Indian markets watch stock securities and exchange board of India or called SEBI has drawn a blank in its probe into alleged violations in money flows from offshore entities into the cock low market. The panel also said that based on data provided by SEBI, it saw no evident pattern of manipulation in the step stock price rise in Gautam Adani's companies that can be attributed to any single entity or group of connected entities. The initial findings not only came as a relief for Adani's employer as well as SEBI but also gave ammunition to the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party which has been struggling to dodge the attack from opposition leaders, particularly Rahul Gandhi who has been trying to link the allegations against the billionaire with Prime Minister Narendra Modi due to, to, due to their perceived proximity. Congress General Secretary in charge of communication Jairam Ramesh, however, said his party has all along been saying that the court appointed panel has extremely limited terms of reference and will simply be unable, that is called, and perhaps unwilling to, maybe, to unravel the alleged scam in all this complexity. Ramesh highlighted five key observations questioning the opacity of regulation and the committee's inability, inability to reach definitive conclusions regarding SEBI law violation by the Adani group. He also emphasized the need for a JPC investigation based on experts from the report that the beliefs strengthen the case. Contrary to the most of the Modi government, the committee has found that regulations have moved, moved in direction of opacity that facilitates the disuse of ultimate beneficial ownership, Ramesh said in a tweet, adding that the committee could not arrive at any definitive conclusions regarding violation of SEBI laws by the Adani group. He also cautioned against misconstruing the committee's report as providing a clean sheet to the Adani group, asserting that such interpretations were baseless. We used to say, Nothing more on the committee's report given the immense of its members except to say its conclusions were predictable and with all its limitation to spin the committee's report as having given a clean sheet to the Adani group is wholly bogus hero. Be in the report, Glory Globe TV, Delhi, India.